we're going to reuse the existing U for ground. We need to get a ground to the water, which is there. And then the hot water heater, we need a bond. And that's right on the other side. So it's all like right in this area. Yeah, I'm just prepping the panel, taking it all apart, getting it ready for us to get disconnected and install it. Once the power's off, we're free to get to work. I'm just labeling the existing circuit. So when we put the new panel in, we know what wires go where in the house so we can confirm the labels and then relabel the new panels. Panels directly on the other side of here. You can see from the wires going down. So I'm gonna just go floor to ceiling, open it up. We're gonna get rid of the old panel, pull it out, label all the wires, and start putting this one in. Pretty much just getting all the paint off of the main water line, so it's exposed copper. So when we bond it, it's grounded nicely instead of having paint in between the connection. So this brand is called a Zinsco. It's old obsolete fire hazard. They were installed up until the late 60s, I believe. So now their fire hazards and cigars are making people upgrade them, homeowners insurance. The uh, our underground feed is in this pipe, which is coming up center to our uh, stud bay, and we need to get it to the left, which we're gonna have to figure out how to do because our panel, the where the hub enters, is on the left hand side, and uh, so yeah, we'll have to come up with something. Now we're just landing our PG&E wires. And Tanner's working on getting our grounding over. And then we'll land all of our old wires back in. Finishing touches, once we've got these, these wires and the rest of the breakers in, then we're done. And we're gonna flip on power and just label her breakers. And we're out of here.